All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim on the four corners, pushing his truth and sincerity. Peace be unto you. Going to go into, you know, can we judge or not? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 3. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? You know, so he says that we shall. Shall is future tense pertaining into the kingdom. You know, when we are all set in righteousness, you know, we're going to judge the angels. So and it ends it with a rhetorical question. How much more things that pertain to this life? So what pertains to this life? You know, matters between men. You know, if we can judge angels, of course we can judge, you know, us mortal men. You know, so that's, that's you know, pretty much a very, very, very light. You know, because this whole, that, this whole concept that, you know, we can't judge, that's, that's completely off. And I'm going to go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 24 as well. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 24. Uh, but if all prophesy and there come in one that believeth not or one unlearned, he is conceived of all. He is judged of all. Now, it said judged of all. It didn't say judged of only of God. You know, in uh, verse 29, let the prophets speak two or three and let the other judge. So again, the prophets... Uh, with an S in plural, more than one, it said, "Let the prophet speak two or three, and let the and let the other judge." So, this is a commandment. Again, not a mosaic commandment, but this is a commandment. You know, that's in the Bible. So, this whole notion that we aren't supposed to judge, like you got to go back to like that's elementary stuff. You know, that's that's really you know low key. And this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. He, yet he himself is judged of no man. You know, so if, you're, if you call yourself a spiritual person, and then we know what is spiritual according to Romans, see if I'm right off the top of my head, I want to say 7 and 8, I believe. But uh, I know I'm somewhere in the ballpark, so I'll pinpoint it specifically. But just going to reiterate what is a spiritual person. Uh, 7 and 14. Romans 7 and 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. You know, so a person that keeps the law, that's a spiritual person. You know, and uh, if you keep the law, if you're a spiritual person, then, you know, it says a spiritual, uh, he that is spiritual judges all things. You know, matters that pertain and how do you judge things that pertain to the law? You know, the Most High gave us judges. You know, the, you got the, the book of judges. Uh, I'll give you another uh, precept. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 15. Because there, there's a, basically, if you're still teaching that, you pretty much like a, just waking up or you a Sunday Christian. And this is uh, going to the point of First Corinthians chapter ten, verse fifteen. I speak as two wise men judge ye what I say. So you got to determine is Paul, you know, speaking wisdom or is he speaking folly? And in order to discern it, you got to use what your judgment. You know, so this whole notion that we aren't supposed to judge, like that's like like that's so so far from the truth. That it's 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 almost laughable, you know, because the person that says only God can judge me, motherfucker, you, you know, once once you decide if a person is good or bad, you already decide a judgment. So people that say only God can judge me, you you know, you make judgments yourself. You know, you if you say, oh, I don't like this person or this person got a snotty mouth or uh, I don't like the way that person treated me, you know, you judging when you go in a in, uh, fucking elect you know and cast your vote what are you doing you're making your judgment you're not flipping a coin and say am i voting for trump or am i voting for hillary you're using your judgment romans 8 and 31 what shall we say 
to these things. If God be for us, who can be against us? Uh, I'm going to start at verse 33. Go verse 33. Romans 8 and 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh Shai that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. You know, uh, and going back to uh, uh, verse 30, let's see, 33, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. You know, so basically, you know, we're the elect are the ones that are the spiritual men, you know, so those that are not spiritual, you know, they can't judge us. Those are the ones that can't judge us. Uh, and uh, I'm ended on uh, Leviticus uh, 19, verse 15. And it reads as follows. Okay, Leviticus. Nineteen and verse fifteen. Uh, ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. So you're supposed to judge your neighbor in righteousness. You know, so that's a, a cut to all you we can't judge. And on that note, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and double honor to the elders of GMS. Peace and salutations. Salutations.